causing a commotion Cause they are so awesome Narwhals, narwhals, swimming in the ocean Pretty big and pretty wide to beat a polar bear in a fight Like an underwater unicorn Hi, my name is Ian Rowan. I'm a writer and a filmmaker. I'm uh, launching this campaign for a somewhat unlikely but very important and very timely issue, narwhals. It just so happens that narwhals have been near and dear to my heart since the day I began dating my girlfriend, Jamie. She didn't believe that narwhals really existed, if you can believe that. She thought they were some sort of mythical creature like Pegasus or unicorns. After my initial laughter, it didn't take long for me to prove to her that narwhals were real. And after that, narwhals became a kind of symbol for our relationship. Playful, intriguing, and magical. And now, many years later, narwhals are facing a huge threat to their existence. I recently read about Jerry Natanin, the mayor of the Inuit village of Clyde River, Canada, on Baffin Bay, which is part of the Arctic Circle. He's fighting to stop oceanic oil and gas exploration this summer, which uses seismic blasts to map the sea floor. It so happens that 90% of narwhals on Earth call Baffin Bay their home. These seismic blasts are 100,000 times louder than a jet engine and have been shown to cause deafness and even death in dolphin and whales. Natanin, as well as Greenpeace, recognizes that this testing could mean the death of Baffin Bay's narwhals. This could lead to irrecoverable harm for the entire species. By permitting this dangerous and destructive method of searching for offshore oil and gas. During this process, boats tow a large array of air guns that blast compressed air into the ocean. These blasts are capable of traveling miles into the seafloor, mapping oil and gas deposits trapped deep below. Seismic air guns are unbelievably loud, emitting a noise that is over 100,000 times more intense than the sound of a jet engine. These dynamite-like blasts go off every 10 seconds, 24 hours a day, for weeks to months on end. Seismic blasts may drown out the voices of dolphins and whales. We must stop seismic blasting. And we must stop it now. On April 15th, Narwhal Crusader and Mayor Natanin will go to court in Toronto to fight against the seismic blasting. I will be going to Toronto to cover Natanin's story and his plight against the government and the oil industry, to explore and document narwhals in their native Arctic habitat, to show the dangers of seismic blasting to sea life, and hopefully to make sure that narwhals stay real. I will be joined by Peter Mahalovich, an amazing cinematographer and friend, and a small film crew. Together, you can help us record their story and save one spectacular species from their doom. We have some great rewards for those who contribute to our cause, including original artwork by Alison Kunath, as well as prints and bumper stickers of her art. Narwhals are indeed one of the most magical creatures in our world. They are also very real beings that are in very real danger of dying. Help spread the word about what is happening. Help me and my team tell their story. And please, help us keep narwhals real. Narwhals, narwhals, swimming in the ocean Causing a commotion, cause they are so awesome Narwhals, narwhals, swimming in the ocean Pretty big and pretty wide to beat a polar bear in a fight Like an underwater unicorn, they've got a kick out facial harm They're the Jedi of the sea They stop Kafoon or Wheaty Narwhals, they are narwhals, narwhals Just don't let them touch your balls narwhals,